You ever get that feeling, you know, when you're at the mechanic and the jargon starts flying? Like you're nodding along, yeah. but inside you're thinking, what on earth are they talking about? It can definitely be intimidating. Totally. And that's why we're doing this deep dive today. We're tackling 20 essential sentences in mechanics so we can all learn to decode mechanic speak and feel more confident, even if we don't know a wrench from, well, you know. A dipstick. Exactly. And the thing is, this isn't just about sounding smart. It's about understanding what's going on with our cars and being able to advocate for ourselves. So this guide kicks off with common car symptoms. And some of these are, uh, let's just say, universally relatable, like strange noises coming from your car. Is there anything more unnerving than hearing your car grind or squeal or, you know? Oh, absolutely not. Those noises are often your car's way of saying, hey, something's not right here. Right. Like a grinding sound when you brake could be your brake pads wearing down. And the thing is, ignoring those little clues, well, it can lead to way bigger problems down the line and probably a much bigger bill from the mechanic too. Ugh, don't even go there. And speaking of red flags, the guide also mentions the dreaded check engine light. Oh yeah, that little light can strike fear into the heart of any car owner. No kidding. Yeah. It's amazing how such a tiny light can inspire so much like dread. And for good reason, right, because that light is notoriously vague. It could be something minor, like a sensor acting up, or it could be a sign of a much bigger engine issue. So the takeaway here is... Don't ignore it. Get it checked out by a mechanic, like ASOP. Solid advice. Yeah. Now, what about when your car just dot won't start? Ugh, oh, the worst. You get that sinking feeling in your stomach like, this is going to be expensive. It's definitely up there on the list of stressful car experiences. Absolutely. Yeah. But here's the thing, and this is where this guide gets really interesting. Even though it seems self-explanatory, my car won't start, providing specific details to your mechanic can actually be incredibly helpful. It really can. For example, do you hear any sounds when you turn the key? Is it like a clicking sound? A whirring sound? Or is it just dead silence? Those details, they might seem insignificant to us, but to a mechanic, they can actually be huge clues in figuring out what's wrong. So it's almost like they're car detectives and we need to provide them with the initial like crime scene report. Exactly. The more information you can give them up front, the faster they can diagnose the issue and hopefully get you back on the road. Okay, so we've talked about how to you know, describe those car troubles in a way that mechanics actually understand. But now, let's flip the script. Yeah, let's do it. This guide also decodes common mechanic lingo, those phrases that they use that often leave us, uh, well... Clueless. Exactly. Like, you take your car in for that weird rattling sound, yeah. and the mechanic says, and I quote, your alternator isn't charging properly. Oh, I've heard that one. And you're like, okay, what does that mean exactly? Right. It sounds really complicated, but honestly, it's pretty straightforward when you break it down. So bring it down for us. All right. So think of your car's electrical system like a heart, okay? Mm -hmm. And the alternator, that's its pacemaker. It's what keeps everything running smoothly. Interesting analogy. I like it. Thanks. So the alternator's main job is to keep the battery charged, right? And then the battery, that powers everything else. Your headlights, your radio, you name it. So if the alternator isn't working properly. Your battery's not going to charge, and eventually you're going to be stuck with a car that won't start. It's all connected. Exactly. And speaking of connected systems, let's talk about another phrase that tends to cause confusion. You might need an alignment. Ah, yes, alignment. It sounds very technical, I know. Very. But again, it's simpler than it sounds. Alignment basically refers to the angle of your wheels and how they line up with each other and the road. Imagine like drawing a straight line on the road. Okay, got it. You want all four tires to be following that line perfectly, right? Yeah, makes sense. If your car's misaligned, that means your tires aren't going to wear evenly. So you'll start to see like uneven wear patterns on your tires, which means you'll have to replace them sooner. Ah, so that's why it's important. That's one reason. But not only that, but misalignment, it can also affect your car's handling. Like it might start pulling to one side when you're driving. That's no good. Not good at all. And it can even decrease your fuel efficiency. So you'll be spending more on gas. Okay, so definitely not something to ignore. All right. <laughs> one more mechanic phrase I'd love to demystify. There's a leak in the radiator. Okay. Should now, the radiator, it? that's part of the cooling system, right? You got it. Yeah. So your engine, obviously, when it's running, it generates a lot of heat, right? Right. The radiator, along with the coolant that flows through it, that's what's responsible for, like, regulating that temperature, preventing the engine from overheating. Okay. A leak in the radiator means that coolant is escaping, which 
if it's not addressed, can quickly lead to overheating. And we all know that an overheated engine usually means... Uh, a very unhappy bank account. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Wow, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Small leaks, big problems. Right. But let's, you know, shift gears here a bit. We've decoded some common car symptoms. We've tackled mechanical lingo. But how does this knowledge actually empower us? I mean, I'm not about to start rebuilding my own engine or anything. Right, right. Of course not. So what's the key takeaway here? Well, it's about understanding, right? You don't need to be a mechanic to benefit from this knowledge. It's more about leveling the playing field a bit, feeling more confident in a situation that, let's be honest, can be pretty intimidating. Totally. So less about doing the repairs ourselves and more about understanding what needs to be done. Exactly. It's about being able to ask informed questions. Like if they tell you, you need a new transmission. Oh, there's those big scary words again. Right. But if you have a little bit of knowledge, you can at least ask, you know, what are the specific symptoms? Are there any other possible solutions? Could it be something simpler? Maybe. It's about being an informed consumer. And, and not feeling pressured to say yes to a repair that you don't really understand. A hundred percent. This knowledge, it empowers you to make informed decisions about your car and about your wallet. Music to my ears. Well, this deep dive has been a real eye-opener. I feel way more prepared to face my next mechanic appointment. But I'm sure our listeners have their own car repair experiences and anxieties. So let's hear from you. What's the one car problem you dread dealing with the most? Share your stories. Let's keep this conversation going and demystify the world of cars one phrase at a time. And remember, a little knowledge can go a long way.